Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur has become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, the Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok is I, Snow, watch more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my scrope. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Y yeah. We... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. I still can't believe he ate it. So Odin and Freya could have been happy, but he only wanted her magic? Aye. A taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Just? Did you know her? I never had the pleasure. Lothi was a rumor in the halls of Asgard. A giantess warrior who thwarted many an Aesir god's plans. Freeing those who they would enslave, feeding those who they would starve, generally making a nuisance of herself in the most noble of ways. Thor was terribly frustrated he could never find her to fight. Once my imprisonment began, I could only wonder what became of her and who she would turn out to be. Yours is quite a singular lineage, lad. Atreus, to me!
wish mom were here. Are we lost? Nah. A Valkyrie. We have to save her. Think before you act. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? I'm ready if you are. Aye, same here. If that counts for anything. Here she comes! Thank you for releasing my physical form. I have only gratitude. Why were you trapped? I am... uncertain. My mind... still fragmented. The Rokstol of Valkyr. It is the last thing I remember. The what? Valhalla awaits. I must return. Valkyr. What is that, Mamir? It's a council chamber of sorts, hidden away in Midgard. The Valkyries would often need a place to confer outside of Odin's prying eyes. They thought themselves properly concealed, but the All Father sees all, so the saying goes. Where is it? We weren't far from it on our way to Thormur's Chisel. The entrance is to the left of the two oarsmen statues. You failed to mention this at the time. Didn't think we'd be hunting down Valkyries at the time, brother. Think we'll find out why the Valkyries are like this? That chamber held a special significance for them. We'll find something there, I'm certain of it. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks.
This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. This is incredible! be so nauseous without a stomach come on that was great look the tower i knew there was something down here amazing how do you hide something that exists in all realms cast it out of any realm to the space between clever old tear is jodenheim on the other side can't be that it's not like you go through vanaheim to reach the midgard peak but how do we use it I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Freya could have been happy, but he only wanted her magic? Aye. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. over here. Follow me, Atreus. I see. 
down there. Who going in or what? Sure, it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Don't I quite agree? Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Wow, it's hot here, but is that snow? Ash, it only falls like that for great fires. Well, this is supposed to be the greatest fire of all, isn't it? Muspelheim, the ancient realm of flame. Did your mother speak of it? Not a whole lot. I mean, there's not many stories that take place in fire, except among the fire giants, I guess. But I don't think they talk to others much. And no one's seen one in forever. I wonder what Suratur's gauntlet is. What? It's what those runes said we could find here. Hmm. We shall look. Listen, I hear a voice. Another elf? I don't think so. It's coming from up there.
just around this corner. Oh. It's a great big sword. It wants to know if we're ready to train. The gate's closed. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir. Crazy. And look, there's loot! Wouldn't it be nice to find some incense just once? The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Here, boy. Another one. This one's called Sewerter. Must be a fire giant. Aye, the first and original. Makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm. That may be a matter of perspective. What's it gonna be this time? That's it? to this challenge. Harder than before. Be ready, boy. I am.
another gate opened up. So, nobody lives here, do they? Only a fire giant could be at home here. And according to prophecy, we won't see them again till Ragnarok. There's another sword. This must be the next challenge. Here they come. I'm ready.
Breathing in ash. Imagine breathing it in from your throat stump. Uh, I really can't. <clears throat> oh, wow. It's a lava waterfall. It's a lava fall. Yes, this isn't at all terrifying, is it?
Another sword. I wonder how many of these there are. Oh, it's six. The voice says six. Ready? Ready.
My hands are so sweaty I can barely grip the ball. Well, my nose itches. Met the boy, of course.
every time, right? <laughs> the gate's closed. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir.
see the way up. <laughs> oh, there goes my arm here. Well, it wouldn't be a challenge without a little challenge, would it? There's a sword! What's this? The fifth? Ready, boy. I am. Outstanding! Wish I had a better view.
another gate opened up. If we could take this temperature and combine it with Helheim's, it'd probably be perfect. And if the old father had wings, he'd be a dragon. <laughs> I don't usually get nervous when we climb. But don't slip. I strongly concur. A Valkyrie! Careful, lads. Ready yourself. <sighs> Freedom. That's right, my lady. You are free. You have destroyed my physical form. I have nothing to give but my gratitude. I guess that's all we need. Gratitude does not pay for weapon upkeep, boy. Valhalla awaits. Farewell. Another Valkyrie rescue. Although, you think if they wanted to be killed? They'd make it a little easier for us. Not sure they even have a choice in the matter, lad. What do you mean? Whatever made them this way, they are mad with rage. How do you know? I know. is impressed. He says for anyone that can beat a Valkyrie, he'll unlock a new level of challenges. I think all the swords just came back. Now he wants to know if we're ready for the ultimate challenge. We do not need this now. Whatever you say. That refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side, and bled down into the well of destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad?
already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? Fate's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the All Father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. Bumfuzzled over there. Get going. Ah, Niflheim. Not sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. Uh, what is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. What is that stuff? Weird. Yes. A strange material. Let's see. I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Ivaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop's center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. There's something written here. Be the center chamber. Another Valkyrie. You're a Niflheim? <laughs> 
freedom. Yes. You are free now. My sisters, have they suffered the same fate? Yes. But we'll save them. You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Both? She didn't even notice me. be saved why do they put up such a fight they are fierce opponents it is good for you you know most parents just want their children to get a full night's sleep You don't look so good.
looks like you found enough echoes. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Sindri, how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves who lived here could craft marvels out of the mists of Niflheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. I could put them to all sorts of use. Happy to provide. You all bum fuzzled over there. Get going. A loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Not so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost Teats. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going! Atreus, follow me. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but... How did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. He stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrathless fierce and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of a warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So did I.
A Valkyrie. We have to save her. Think before you act. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? I'm ready if you are. Aye, same here. If that counts for anything. Here she comes! Focus up, boy! Thank you for releasing my physical form. I have only gratitude. Why were you trapped? I am uncertain. My mind still fragmented. The Rokstal of Valkyrs. It is the last thing I remember. The what? Valhalla awaits. I must return. Valkyr. What is that, Mamir? It's a council chamber of sorts, hidden away in Midgard. The Valkyries would often need a place to confer outside of Odin's prying eyes. They thought themselves properly concealed, but the All-Father sees all, so the saying goes. Where is it? We weren't far from it on our way to Thormur's chisel. The entrance is to the left of the two oarsmen statues. You failed to mention this at the time. Didn't think we'd be hunting down Valkyries at the time, brother. Think we'll find out why the Valkyries are like this? That chamber held a special significance for them. We'll find something there, I'm certain of it. Any more stories, Mimir? Of course, laddie, and yours for the asking. But I prefer the boat. In here is distracting. Is it a good idea coming back here? She's probably in there planning your demise, brother. Or bringing Balder back to life. Like she did you, Mimir. Oh, I'm not alive, lad. I'm reanimated, sure. But make no mistake, I'm still quite dead. I'll never be what I once was. <laughs> she won't want this for her son. Trust me. That's a relief. Not the part about you being dead, but... Give him what for! 
Boy, over here. It's another Valkyrie. We're gonna save her, right? If by save her you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough. Both of you. I will decide the best course of action. Prepare yourself. louder than the last. Milady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! Somebody made them this way. Who? And why? I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something. Ah, Nimia. Smartest man alive. I know many things. Head. Ah. Uh, Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had... history, I guess you could say. Like... 
Romantic history? Ah, oh, lad. You're making me blush, I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind that distraction. Follow me, Atreus. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Another one of those sand bowls. Bow.
you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. And we'll pick this up later.
Can you read it? Sir. Oh, yeah. I can translate this now. Niflheim. Land of fog and fortune. Aye. And a bloody infinite number of traps. another Valkyrie. Are we doing this? On my action. Freed me. Who did this to you? I remember only pain. And my queen, she locked me down here? But why? Ah, oh, Sigrun. I must leave you now. I must find her. I, I must remember. Sounds like your queen is responsible, Head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was... different. Changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more... volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but... She had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, Mimir. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible... Then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's gonna watch your back?
focus up. Let's get you all bum fuzzled over there. Get You all bum fuzzled over there. Get going. Ah, Alpine. I missed its gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the light elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the light elves and dark elves are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Do not be order! Hmm? Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. So, clear this up for me. Spotify means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway... Aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavellir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. Atreus, to me!
Let me guess, there's a Valkyrie in here. Yep. Well, are we gonna fight her? There's a trapped spirit in there. Quiet, Head. Good luck, friends! <laughs> Thank you. I am free. But why was I imprisoned? We think your queen did this to you. But why would Sigrun hinder our duty? That's the mystery we're trying to solve, milady. Can you think of any reason she would have to do this? No. Without the Valkyries, those who died in battle will not see Valhalla. Helheim will overflow with the souls of the departed and drown Midgard in a sea of vengeful corpses. No greater shame exists for a Valkyrie. I must go. Attempt to staunch the bleeding. Farewell. I believe you have your answer, Head. The Queen opposes Odin. She imprisoned the Valkyries to defy him. Sigrun hated Odin, no doubt about that. But her duty, her responsibility. Would she really forsake these things to get back at Odin? No, I don't believe it. I do. Hate is stronger than duty. We have to find the Queen. We have to stop her. I'm sorry, Mimir. Aye, don't be sorry, lad. Sigrun brought this on herself. Only wish... Well... Mission only gets you so far. How will we find her? I'm afraid I don't know. She could be anywhere, any realm. We'll find her. We have to. All of Midgard is counting on us. Going in or what? I can't believe we're back in hell. At least we're not on the side of the bridge where those visions will, will torture us. It's so cold. My skin freezes when I talk. I 
be valuable. It's another Valkyrie. Can we try to free her? Mm. We can't just leave her like this, brother. Do not rush me, Ed. When we are prepared, I will attack. Freedom. Where is your queen? My queen? She did this to you. She's letting the dead take over Midgar. This cannot be. I didn't want to believe it either, milady. But we have to find her. Where is she? I can't say for sure. But the rook stole of Alkirs. If the Council of Eight are reunited, perhaps she will answer our call.
Council of Eight. Looks like this was our last one. Aye, lad. On to the rope stool and Valkyrs then. If you remember, it's next to the two oarsmen statues on the path we took to Thamur's tunnel. This queen of yours. She is strong, yes. Stronger than these other Valkyries we have faced. That's putting it mildly, brother. Then we must prepare ourselves. Get you all bum fuzzled over there. Get going. After Odin was cast out of Yodna. With magic's they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since.
and face me, God of Thunder! <laughs> Boy. Yes, sir. Another map. That will find something useful here. Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career! And if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, he can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. And we'll pick this up later. Another name. Here, It's as if they've been made into a memorial to the Valkyries. Where were we then? Oh yes, my first job. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. Know what? I'll tell this one later.
Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know. This is it, right? The Rockstall? I lied. The Council of Valkyries. The Valkyries are of Valhalla, are they not? Glad to see you're paying attention. <laughs> Correct. Valhalla, the great hall of the Ain Heriar, is their home within Asgard. But while there, they are subject to the scrutiny of the Allfather himself. The relations between the Valkyries and Odin were tense during my tenure as his advisor. Why? Well, that's an even longer story, lad. For now, why don't we look around for some clues? <laughs> Try placing one of the Valkyrie helms on a throne. Gunnar, mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course, but Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. You have saved the Valkyries. Sigrun, how did this happen? Lemire, is that you? You have been freed, but... Freedom comes at a price, milady. You speak truly. Countless winters we serve the Allfather. But only through his union to the Queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the Queen? There has only been one Queen of the Valkyries, the Goddess Freya. 
When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. Sigrun, I'm sorry for being so worthless. I could have done something, or tried at the very least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. Well, we did it, I suppose. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. I'm grateful we were able to set the Valkyries free. But so much of this could have been avoided, only... You said it yourself, head. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Well, that's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. The dwarves will make use of this helm. Your dad's a wee bit single-minded, isn't he, lad? Definitely. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Wait, so Freya is the Valkyrie Queen? She never told us. You never told us. Explain yourself, Head. Or are you bewitched again? Not at all. Freya was Queen of the Valkyries at one point. Part of her marriage dowry included overseeing the Valkyries themselves. As a powerful Vanir goddess, they revered her. I never knew how much until now. So what happened? Why isn't she the Queen anymore? As Sigrun mentioned, Odin and Freya had a fallen out. He ripped her wings off and stripped her of all titles. The Valkyries were devastated, and Freya... Well, let's not mention any of this to her, eh? It's a bit of a sore spot, to say the least. Where were we then? Oh yes, my first job. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy, an unofficial jester. By night... My mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Never spikes to the last. We'd get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Or I can just tell you the story later.
Let's see my first job. Right. Me and my mates had the run of the forest. As long as we kept the fairy king amused. And we'll pick this up later. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. was next to Mother's Garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. fight every once in a while.
time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimba Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come.